Hi everyone, Ron Hellman, EdTech Consultant from Ken ISD. I want to share with you a really cool product that I became aware of recently. And this thing is really kind of blowing my mind how much this was really needed in the market. And it's a really great product for those of you that are in K-12 STEM education and I would say even beyond. And those of you that are in maybe electrical engineering classes and colleges, um, this product is going to kind of change your life. But let me give you the problem statement here first. So here's my problem. I've got lots of different single board computers that I use just to play around with and learn with myself just so I can teach others how to use these from uh, like microbits, little single board computers that were given to every student in the UK to ESP32s, Wemos D1s. Um, this is, I got three different variants of an Arduino here, the Leonardo, Decimilia, and a uh, Uno R3. This one's a clone. I've got a Raspberry Pi Zero, Raspberry Pi, and then I've got, uh, well, stepper motors here with a little Lego guy spinning, Circuit Playground Express, and then here's, you know, a project that I'm working on. Now here's my problem. At Let's just think about a regular classroom. We usually have, you know, maybe an hour or so for students to come in. And during that hour period, a lot of the time that we have as teachers is getting our kids to get their stuff, get it set up, start working on stuff. But then all of a sudden, five minutes to the end of the school hour, they need to put everything away. And the problem is when you've got everything laying around loose like this, you're going to end up taking everything apart all the time. Because it's really difficult to keep circuits connected, especially when you've got lots of different connecting wires like this to stay the way it was the day before when you reopen it again the next day. Sure, you can jam it in a cardboard box or some other container. Uh, that just doesn't work and it's not that practical a lot of times too. So let me show you the coolest thing that I have seen recently. And again, this will solve a lot of problems. Okay, here it is. This is called the Phase Doc Workbench Project Development Kit. So it consists of a couple parts. The top, and take this thing off real quick. So this is a very nicely put together um, piece of polycarbonate that has been laser cut with lots of little holes in it. This one's the Workbench 1007 version two from again, Phase Doc. Underneath it, are a couple nice little handles. And then underneath that is my nice little container where I can keep all my parts in pieces. So why does this solve every problem that I have? Well, if you're like me and you have crazy amounts of components, like all these things as part of your teaching and learning, lots and lots and lots of components like that, and you want to keep track of them well you might want to have some sort of storage container so there's that part but this is the this is the reason why it works great so this locks on top snaps right on top of this thing so like okay well that's fine but what does it do let me show you you have two different parts here also that come with the workbench these are called clicks c-l-i-c-k-s and these are called slides so clicks and slides work together really well. A click allows you to take any of your boards that you might be working on and click it into the top. The slide attaches to any of your boards that you might have. For example, this is an a Arduino Uno. And then we will use the included hardware set. I didn't do this one quite yet, but the included hardware packet with everything that you need, lots of nice little machine screws to attach that Uno to the slide. And there's a couple options that you might do to attach this to that. So because they sell from PhaseDoc a lot of different versions of these slides for different kinds of applications. So this one's for a Raspberry Pi. Um, I've got a slide for, this one is for a feather or a particle from Adafruit. Uh, this one's for one of my favorite boards that I use a lot right now. This is for a Circuit Playground Express. This one's really got a neat feature too, is um, when you put the screws in it, it comes up through, and then you can attach those to any of the pads that you have on your Circuit Playground Express. So all these things sit on top of one of these clicks. And when it sits on top of a click, do this the right way, <laughs> um, like this, then you have the ability to remove and move your stuff around. Uh, these usually can be super glued directly from here to there. The one thing you do want to watch out for is on the very front, you've got these, these are called springs. 
so these are 3D printed and these are very cleverly created so they're, they're little springy guys and you always put it in feet first and compress your springs and then just throw this thing right into your two holes like that. And just imagine that I would have this either super glued or my option that I might end up doing is just using some Velcro and putting Velcro on these guys. So in case I do have some extra boards, maybe I want to swap them out or something like that. I can have some Velcro on this thing and then have that board. So you probably want to use a little thinner Velcro than I have. Maybe something not as strong as this really teethy kind like this stuff. Um, but mostly you end up super glue. So here's the cool part. Now you have the ability to have your project and it can be to go. Everything stays here. All of your parts stay inside. They also sell a really cool plexiglass top for this. It, it's an option where it'd be a, a little cover that goes over top and it clicks right over top of this. So now you've got a fully portable unit where you can have your project. You don't have to take it apart. Um, you can mount this whole entire thing and it can just stay here for you. I just love my favorite part besides the mounting part where I, I just know where all my stuff is, is when I have access to all my parts. And the cool thing is once everything is actually attached, because mine isn't right now, it's great that if everything's up there and attached, you can just flip open your lid and say, okay, hey, I need another part. I need a Raspberry Pi or whatever. Any of my components, I can pull them out and then use those right here. So this makes a great self-contained system for any students that you might have that you're working with. Um, they've got great pricing on these things too. So I would highly suggest you take a look at PhaseDoc. That's P-H-A-S-E-D-O-C-K. And you'll see that PhaseDoc. They've got some really great videos on their website. They tell you everything about how this works together. But I would very much urge you to take a look at it. So check it out.